Hello guys, welcome back to another Commander game. I'm going to play Aloro again. I've been playing him a lot lately and enjoying it thoroughly, so expect more. Hmm. This is awkward. I'm going to keep it because I do have three lands and counterspell. But the Bajuka Bog doesn't really count as a land, so really we're keeping a two lander with no castable spells. It's a little bit sketchy. Alright, just kidding. We're all set. Easy game. Alright, so we want Boldu in white. Oh, there's more blue. Do I want a lantern? Yeah, I'm just gonna lantern. Let's see, play archive next turn. If he wants to start doing Grenzo things, that's fine. I have a wrath. At least that's the logic I'm gonna use, and hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Hearthstone. Activated abilities of creatures cost one less. Okay. It's not affect the Loro, unfortunately, because his ability is triggered, I believe. Alright. Let's archive. Get all that fun stuff out there and go shields down one more turn. Should be the last turn. We have to go shields down, though. Although I kind of just want to play Aloro next turn, because then we can start drawing three cards a turn. We'll see. Grenzo. Could just Wrath here. It's not the worst idea. So what does this guy do again? Let's take a look. Enters a battlefield with such and such counters. Pay one mana, because he has this. Put the bottom card of your library into your graveyard. If it's a creature with power less than or equal to Grenzo's, put it on the battlefield. So he's just got a bunch of like two mana creatures or something. Let's signet. And we'll leave up counter magic this time. Board wiping doesn't do a ton because you can just replay Grenzo and stuff. He hit a land. And Coblin Bombardment. Well, happy to see those gone. So he wished twice. But I imagine he just does it a bunch more. And pretty much that's all he does for the rest of the game. So I want to start drawing some cards. Black, blue, white. One, two. Three. And that lets us leave up a counter spell. All right. So he might just have a kill spell for it, because he is playing black or red. Uh, I, don't th I don't know if I'd counter it. Alright, he has four activations, five activations here. Go back, Chief. Mm, that one's not too scary. Um, more misses, some ramp, some removal. Wow, this is like awful. I feel bad for the guy. He's hit one, two, three, four mana sources and two non-creature spells. Got another six activations ready to go though.
destroyed. Do I counter this? Uh, I think I let it happen and I just wrath. At least make him spend a bunch of mana just recasting Grenzo. Because if he's doing this six times a turn, I'm going to need to find some answers. Mind Rot is not bad. Start with that. Discard two. Guess rid of his two worst cards. It's not great. I'm not sure. I just threw this in here because I had to remove Mind Twist, but it's not exactly a good card. Alright, Wrath. So you guess to activate. We don't have any counter magic, so I'm just going to F6. So what's the benefit of activating here? Any creature you guess is just going to get Wrathed. So it's more, does he have like a living end effect? So we'll be able to get them all back at some point anyways. Would be my line of thinking. He's still missing a ton, which is also interesting. Dark Petition. Okay. So I could counter whatever he gets. I think I might just want to Bajuka Bog him next turn. Might be, might be a reasonable time for that. But I don't know. I mean, the thing is, even if he gets like a living end, what's he going to do? He's got one creature in there. So I guess maybe not. Oh, Ashnaz Altar, okay. That's scary. Wouldn't mind drawing a uh, austere command. Cyclonic Rift is a good one. So I have mana for Alorio. I think I would rather just counter Grenzo, though. Talisman, sure. A Steer Command would actually wreck me, too, so it's not exactly high on my list of wants after all. Siege Gang Commander. I should probably counter that. Presents a uh, more damage than I want to sit around and take every turn. Even though it does mean he just gets to go cast his general this turn. So he's got one card left in hand. I don't really want to cycle Cyclonic Rift until I have some kind of pressure on the board. But I'm not under any pressure, so I'm okay. He does just get to Grenzo and activate it four times here. I don't want to bounce the Hearthstone. I don't know. I'll just let him do his thing. He's going to get his activations either way. I don't really have... Cyclonic Rift. Cyclonic Rifting doesn't do much, I don't think. Let's do that. Let's do that. One, two. It's a good draw. Let's see if he just has the hero's downfall for it, though. I'm not going to exile his graveyard yet. I thought we're getting there. Uh, actually, rather not F6, because he might have something I want to bounce at the end of his turn, although I kind of doubt it. Or at the end of my turn. Depending on what he hits with Grenzo. Hmm. 
Hello. Is he disconnecting? Hmm. Maybe just tabbed out for a second. All right, here's his four activations. Great merchant. It's not the worst. Another miss. Hero's downfall. I'm glad to see that gone. Swamp. Pawn of Ulamog. I see. So this is a combo deck. Between Altar and this thing, he can generate infinite mana, probably with another card. So this is just, well, uh, maybe not combo necessarily. This just lets him Grenzo some more right here. I think that's okay. Hmm. Dismember the top card of your graveyard to the bottom of your library. So that's his graveyard recursion. There's a mountain. This dude is missing like there's no tomorrow. Another mountain. Holy crap. <laughs> this guy is... I can't tell if he's incredibly unlucky or his deck's not actually built to hit very often. So this is what this guy does. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, create a 1-1. So it's basically the exact same thing as the Pawn of Ulamog. Disciple of Bolas. So he's going to draw some cards. Sacks itself. So you get some, some spawns. Okay. And some activations. We are on his turn right now, so he's going to be tapped out. This deck is cool though. So what do you got? Lightning Greaves and three more lands. It continues to miss, I think. Okay. Heroes don't fall. Don't mind seeing that. Do I use it now? One, two, three, four, five, six. So he recast Grenzo next turn, he'll have two mana left over. Seems fine. Oh, it's a weird game. I don't really know how to play against this deck because I don't really understand fully what it's trying to do. I don't know if I'm mana to overload Cyclonic Rift. Still not at the point where Living End is terrifying, especially not with the Rift in my hand. Um, we'll just pass, I guess. I mean, Elspeth is doing her thing, so... Two more turns and I get the ultimate her. For whatever that's worth. Renzo is back. He's got three activations. To 
Tree of Pain. Hmm. Draw a card for each creature destroyed this way. I think I like that. Alright. Try and figure out these signets. Two, three, four. So he's going to activate three more times. I think when these guys go in the graveyard, I'll bajuka bog. Because those guys seem like some combo, combo E cards. Badlands, Mountain. So many lands. Obnixilis. Probably should have sacked his guys in response so that I draw less cards, but it's probably fine. Alright, so I think it is Pajuka block time, especially since I drew more graveyard hate. Um, let's make some 1-1s. One and what do I want to do? I could leave up Enlightened Tutor. Or I could just... Remora. Actually, Remora probably doesn't do crap against him since he seems to be pretty creature focused. So that's might have been a bit of a waste. It's fine though. Who knows? All right, let's discard until you have seven cards. So let's get rid of Ingot, Chalice, Signet, Commander Sphere. March Flats, Footage Strand, Swamp. I wouldn't mind keeping some lands. Teferi, I don't really care about Teferi. Liliana as a tutor is solid, the board wipes are solid. Probably don't need Cyclonic Rift with all these board wipes. Eh, not bad. <laughs> Solid hand. We'll see. Ugh. What do we get tutor for anyways? Like, I don't even know what we want to deal with this deck. Really, we just need some, like, threats, I guess. Just making some tokens. Yeah, I have no idea. I still have, like, not a clue what this guy's doing. So sack some guys to bring Grenzo back out. Probably. I don't think I'm going to pay for Amora. Seems like a bit of a waste. Grand Dynamo. Like those mana for days over there. Let me set an upkeep stop for Enlightened Tutor. I think I want to. Get anguished on making and deal with this hearthstone. Hearthstone. <laughs> Not hearthstone. Murderous cut, terminate. There you go, priest of Urbrask. So that gives him some more mana, so he gets to continue. That's cool. Nice little synergy. It's gonna be like a 30 minute video of trying to figure out 
what this deck does. I mean, I guess this is what it does. It's just supposed to, like, blop out. Okay, Necrotal. Probably just Supreme Verdict and take Elspeth up again. Coalition Relic, another land. More boots. Skull Clamp. I'm happy that he's not drawing a Skull Clamp. Just gonna keep going. Curious what he's tr trying to hit. Chandra, it's random. Seems super random compared to the rest of the deck. Ooh, Sadistic Hypnotist. I see. That's a problem. Why wouldn't he just make me discard my hand here? He should spend this mana to flip two more times. And then sack both of these to make me discard four cards. Nope, he just wants to keep spinning. Oh, he's hit another creature. And that lets him keep going. I should probably just have six. I, I have no responses, so... That's why I speed things up. Another creature that lets him keep going. more creatures that let him keep going. So here he could make me discard my hand. And then we're in rough shape actually. Sadistic Hypnotist is a crazy card. Demonic Tutor, Unlicensed Disintegration. Deluge. Cutthroat. Ah, there we go. Now he's going to start doing some damage. Cut the ribbons. I mean, if he makes us discard our hand here, which I'm assuming he has to eventually, we are going to lose this game. Um, he does have a scary board at this point, especially with that cutthroat. Based on what he's been doing so far, he's probably going to be able to just loop through a bunch of damage eventually. We still haven't seen what lets him keep going continuously, but he's down to 22 cards in his deck. If he doesn't make us discard, we could uh, exile his graveyard again. And those 20 cards is all he's going to get to work with. Especially if we Wrath and then Exile his Graveyard. I do wish he would go a bit faster though. <laughs> nice Whisper, Swamp, Vampiric Tutor, Duress, Braid of Fire, Mana Echoes, Power Stone, Flame Slash, Eudrin Archive. There's 13 cards left. Priest of Grix. Like, I'm assuming he's just digging for some creature that is going to let him combo out. Cast even. Still hasn't made me discard. Mountain, Fell War Stone. Hyp no, no, that's Hypnotist, so we're safe from that. Thran Turbine. It's 
Skirk Prospector, alright, I guess there's two more plays. Hmm. I mean, I don't know what his goal is, but... I think he definitely should have won this game if he made me discard my hand. But now he's got five cards in the library, one card in hand, and I'm about to exile his graveyard and wipe his board. I don't think I even want to in Light Tutor anymore. It's two more plays Blood Moon. Falconrath Noble, one card left, like what does he have? There's nothing outside of Laboratory Maniac that lets you win from having an empty deck, right? We'll see. So, let's do that. For starters. So now whatever's in his hand is all he's got. Um, then we just have to... Play Ugin. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Kill that. Make some dudes. What is his last card? I think he's just dead at upkeep though. Alright, huh? We'll see. I still have no idea, like, what he was trying to do. But if he stopped a lot earlier. Made us discard our hand, and just started swinging with his board. I feel like we'd be in rough shape. Uh, anyways, I guess, thank you guys for watching. Um, weird game. Uh, like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.